Lecture number two. Let me just give you a quick overview of the course website so you know what resources are available to you. Every day, in addition to giving lecture, I'll also post the announcements from that lecture to this region of the course website, cs61a.org. I'll go through the announcements now, although in future weeks, I'll just let you read them for yourself. So starting next week, please come to lab and attend discussion, because doing so will provide you with a midterm safety net. What that means is, if you get a particularly low score on the midterm, you'll earn some points back just for having participated in lab and discussion section. Now, if you get a high score on the midterm, then attending these things won't affect you directly, except for that the reason you got a high score might be because you attended lab. So it's a good idea to attend lab and discussion section, although it is possible to get a perfect score in the course without doing so. Homework one is due next Wednesday. It will be released on Friday. All homework is graded on effort in this course, but effort means that you make progress on every problem, and then you get full credit for the homework, two points out of two points. Look, the way we measure effort is first we check to see if you got the problem right. If so, we assume you put some effort into getting the problem right, so you get full credit. If, on the other hand, you don't get it right, then one of the members of the course staff will take a look at your homework and see whether you made progress or not, which involves some human judgment, and they want to look for actual effort, not just returning zero or something like that for every different function you're supposed to define. Okay. So make sure that you're able to complete the homework. We have a homework party next Tuesday from 5 to 6.30 p.m. in 2050, Valley Life Science Building. The homework's due on Wednesday, and then that day a quiz will be released. The quiz is something you do at home with a computer. It's similar to the homework, actually a little bit easier than the homework, but you have to complete it by yourself and in only one day, and it's meant to help you test whether or not you're keeping up with the course so far. It's not worth a lot of points, only three out of the 300 points total in the course, but that's enough that you should pay attention to it, and you should use that to gauge how the course is going so far. And if it doesn't go well, then you should think about changing the way you approach the course, either by allocating more time to it for more homework parties or something like that. Uh, if you want to ask questions about lab and homework assignments, come to office hours. You can go to cs61a.org slash weekly, which is also linked from the weekly schedule here. On the weekly schedule, you'll see all of the lab and discussion sections. If you ever miss a lab, you could just go to a different lab. And it also has, in blue, all of the different office hours, which started this Thursday. There's a few on Friday, and next week there's a whole bunch and you can see where they are by clicking on them. This one's in Garbarini Lounge. Where is that? Well, if we go back to the announcements, you'll see that I made a map for you. This map shows you where Garbarini Lounge is and 240 Bechtel, the other location for office hours. These are in the Bechtel Engineering Center, which is somewhere in the middle of campus. There's Memorial Glade. And these office hours happen all the time just like I showed you on the weekly schedule. The last thing you need to know is that you really need to register a class account, which is what you do in Lab Zero. If you haven't received a class account form, talk to your TA. If you don't have a TA because you haven't gone to lab or discussion, that's not good. Go to lab, go to discussion. You will get account forms there. Please register even if you're on the wait list or, or applying for concurrent enrollment. Just act like an enrolled student and we'll try to get everybody enrolled as soon as possible. Okay, so that's the announcements section of the course website. You can also discover other stuff that's going on here, but most importantly, you can find the videos, and you can find the examples from each lecture, and the slides. So if you want to find uh, a link that I showed you in lecture, usually you just open up the slides, go find the link, like here's a link to the course website, click on it, and you're right there where you were before. Everything I show in a browser, I usually link to from the slides. You'll also find lab and discussion handouts 
and all of the assignments on the course website. So now that you know where everything is, when I post videos, you should also know to check the announcements at the top of the page to make sure you're not forgetting anything.